Welcome to Character Camp. We're going to be creating original characters in Procreate, um, developing them and kind of building them and putting them together. And this video, we're going to be talking about creating our character's hair and um, kind of brainstorming a bunch of different hairstyles and then uh, finishing and coloring one of the hairstyles. And I'll show you some cool tips and techniques tips and techniques for how I uh, illustrate hair. Um, so Character Camp is a part of the Making Art Every Day Challenge. So it's a series of daily drawing prompts, tutorials, resources. We have a really awesome community built around this now. And it's all with the goal of helping you overcome your creative fears and establish a daily art making practice. Um, so it's a really great way if you want to improve your drawing skills to get you in that habit and also give you like what do I draw? Like, cause that's a real big challenge for people when they want to draw, they don't know what to do. And, um, this really helps with that. And it gives you a lot of education and, and things like that too. So you can learn more about that at bardobrush.com slash join M A E. This month's theme of course is characters. So that's why we're doing character camp. Um, so this week we are, we are focusing on drawing a human character and we're doing it in a progressive style. So we're just doing one little piece at a time. So of course we'll start with building our character profile and that's creating the actual, like who is our character? What do they look like written down? And then we'll move on to designing the clothing, the accessories, the character's hair, which is what we're doing today, uh, the face, the body shape, and then we're putting it all together. So we're kind of like starting small and getting bigger. Um, so I wanted to tell you guys first about the character profile. That's the first thing that you want to do. And I actually, due to uh, somebody's suggestion in yesterday's video, um, made a character profile template for you guys. So you can download it. You can, there's even a Procreate version. So you can open it up in Procreate and like jot down all your notes right in Procreate. Um, so you can get that on the Character Camp webpage. And um, when you're doing that, I also would recommend... Let me get to it real quick. You can now find, I added a link to it on my tutorials page, Character Camp, right there. And this is all about defining the character. That's where you can get the template. And then I have this article about um, what makes a good character, um, how to define your character's questions to ask, all kinds of really good stuff there. So, so definitely check that out when you're um, building that character profile. And that's where you can also get the PDF or a Procreate file or both. Okay. Okay. So, and then yesterday I wanted to show you what we did. So we, um, I worked on my character, which is written out right here. Actually, her name is Dolores. Her nickname is Lola. She's a little girl. Um, she loves climbing trees. She's really adventurous and curious. She plays the ukulele and likes to sing really, really loud. Um, she's afraid of birds. <laughs> she's kind of obsessive sometimes. Her favorite color is rainbow. So all of these things that I've written down dictate what I'm going to be drawing for the clothes, accessories, the hair, like everything. So um, that's why that is so important. So these are the clothing for my character that we came up with. And then we also did the accessories and these are all her little accessories that we did too. So all finished in color. And now we're gonna be working on my character's hair. Um, so I defined her hair um, in my profile as pink, short, and wavy. So that is what I have to work with as I'm trying to figure out what her hair looks like. So let's go ahead and get started drawing. Get my pencil here, open up Procreate, and I'm gonna create a new canvas. And I am just gonna use kind of like what I consider to be medium resolution. Um, 3,500 by 2,800 pixels is the canvas that I'm using. Use the size that you're comfortable with. It doesn't matter too much. Um, these are really just kind of explorations. I don't really intend to like print them out or whatever, but um, that's why it doesn't matter too much. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and brainstorm a bunch of different hairstyles by doing sketches of hair. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a bunch of little kind of face templates on my canvas and I'll show you that. I think all my little doodads are a little too close over here. <laughs> um, so I'm going to grab like a middle gray to sketch with, and then I'm going to use, um, my Bardo pencil for my pencil box set. You can use any kind of pencil brush to sketch with whatever you like to use best. I just like mine. And then we're going to go ahead and draw like a bunch of heads. 
And um, I'm gonna do kind of like a circular shape. If you know your head is gonna be a particular shape, you can draw that shape. But if you don't, don't worry about it and just draw circles because the face and the head shape don't quite matter right now. So I'm gonna draw a bunch of circles. I wanna make sure there's enough room around them to make sure there's room for the hair. I might actually make these a little smaller. Scoot them out a little bit. I'm using the selection and transform tool to just kind of move them a little bit so I have enough room. Maybe I'll move that one too. Could also just redraw it, but. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna draw a few down here. Okay, cool. So these are the heads. And then I'm also gonna draw a, like a like a cross in the middle of it. And this is how I always set up a face when I'm gonna be drawing a face. And I'm not gonna be drawing a face today. I don't want us to focus on drawing the face. I just want us to focus on drawing the hair. So always make a line down the middle. <laughs> Bless you, Jeff. <laughs> uh, my husband, Jeff, is here too. He's always in the background, like reading your comments and holding down the chat and make sure all everything technically is good. So he's here too. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> and then the next line that goes across this way is where the eyes are gonna go. And one thing I want to say is that I'm usually the the eyes are about like midway, but because my character is uh, young and a girl, or not a girl, but like a child, <laughs> um, the uh, facial features are lower on the head. So I'm actually going to put my line a little bit lower. If it was an adult, the eyes would be higher, like all, on all the facial features would be higher. Like kids have bigger foreheads. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and draw some lines, super rough. And even though I'm not drawing the face, this line will help me know where the ears are gonna be, um, which will, is relevant to drawing hair because the ears are sometimes involved in the hairstyle. And um, if you do wanna learn more about drawing faces and things like that, I have a really great series called People Skills, and it goes you through um, drawing each of the facial features and then drawing the face all together, and then we move on to like hands and arms and feet, and I'm working on finishing the series for like legs and the body, so. Um, but it's really good if you're not familiar with drawing faces, which we are gonna do in our next video, actually. Okay, um, so this is perfect. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go ahead and go to the layers. I'm gonna reduce the opacity of this. And I'm gonna use this as a template kind of to work on all of my sketches. So I will create a new layer and this is where all my hair sketches are gonna go. So hair is definitely a challenging thing to draw. I won't, will not lie to you. Um, references are going to be your friend. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up my little dock down at the bottom. I'm gonna take Safari, oops, wah, it's kind of finicky. I'm gonna grab my Safari icon and drag it over to the side and then I'm gonna resize it so it's smaller. And this is a great way to load up reference photos. And then I'm just gonna do a Google search for like hairstyles or something that's relevant to the type of hair that I wanna do. I'm not really worried about the color. Uh, I just wanna get what the hairstyle looks like. So let's type in short wavy hair. And see what comes up. I spelled it wrong. <laughs> I'm like a bad typer, I guess. That's okay, autocorrect. Okay, so we've got some uh, short kind of wavy hairstyles and I'll try to do one of these and I'll show you how I go from uh, like a photo to a sketch. Maybe this one. I think that's like the girl from Glee. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, one other thing I actually forgot on our sketches is to define the hairline. And let me go back and do that really quick. I'm gonna go back to the little template, the face template, just turn the opacity back up so I can see it. And then we want to define where the hairline is going to be because that's going to be really useful as we're drawing our hair. Um, so I'm just going to do like a rough kind of sketch of where the hairline is. Just so you know, the ears of the character are right around where the eyes are, roughly. Um, so that's why the hair kind of goes down to that line. So I'm just going to quickly draw in like kind of a hairline on all these heads. That one's probably a little too low, that's okay. 
All right. So if you're following along, be sure to draw the hairline in as well. And hairlines can be all kinds of different shapes. Like it's good to observe actual hairlines, but we don't really need to worry about it right now. We're just gonna use a curve because we're, we're really focusing on like simple and stylized for these characters, not like super realistic. Okay, let's get that back down, go back to that other layer. And let's try and do this one here. So the first thing you wanna observe about a hair photo is like the actual shape of the hair. Before you get into like the waviness and the pieces of hair and things like that, just like the overall shape. So I usually start by kind of defining where the part is, which looks like it kind of curves back that way. And then you always wanna make sure, unless their hair is like completely flat, the hair isn't gonna follow the curve of the head. That would be like really super flat hair, or maybe wet hair or something like that. There's always gotta be some volume kind of happening. So we're gonna come up and I'm just gonna kind of define like the shape of this hair. She's kind of got bangs and then carpet is part of her head. And then it goes kind of like that, you know? And I'm doing my own version of it, not exactly the same, but. And then over here, this one kind of goes around her face and, you know, we've got something kind of like that, maybe shorter, okay? And now that I've got like kind of the shape of the hair, um, now I can add in some more details. So let's take a peek here. I'm gonna look at her bangs. I'm kind of gonna make some bangs. Maybe that go that way, kind of like that. And then curved. And then this is gonna go down. It's kind of straightish up here, but then it gets more wavy on the sides. And then same over here, but then it's wavy. And there's some hairs kind of where you add these little like um, the pieces like that, that's kind of gonna, that's, that's actually the next step, but it's gonna give your hair more texture. So right now it's just pretty like flat and chunky. So we wanna add some little separations of the hair like that. And if I have these going in opposite directions like that, it makes it look kind of more messy. So maybe I don't wanna do that. I wanna make them all going the same direction. The direction of these little hairs matters. There we go. And then we can have some maybe kind of going off like that. The more um, higher up you put these little things that stick out like that, the more like layers the hair is going to look like it has. So that, that means that the hair is shorter there than it is like up here. Um, so that's pretty good. Like it's pretty simple um, as far as like the outer shape of that hair. And then I want to add in a few lines just to define like where kind of the waves go. Uh, you know, it can be pretty rough because again, this is a sketch, but and then we've got some hair kind of going like that. Um, this thing, I kind of like this curl happening here. So I'm going to try and depict that. It looks like it goes kind of around and then it goes behind things, and then it starts up here and kind of kind of does that. So we've got that happening, and then we've got hair kind of coming down here. There we go. So that's a sketch of, of hair. That's all that I want to do for the sketches. And then, of course, I can go ahead and draw on the face, maybe add a little neck. And um, then I'm going to move on and do another one here. I'm going to actually make this a little smaller. Like I said, I didn't give myself enough room to actually draw the hair. There we go. All right, back to the other layer. Hope you guys are following along. I'm gonna do a few more hairstyles um, and then we're gonna color one in at the end. So well, let's see what else we got here. Um, let me see. You know, another great, if you're not getting a lot of um, inspiring results in your search. Oh, I kind of like this one. Um, well, I'll get to, let me do this one first, then I'll say what I was going to say. I like her bangs. I like kind of like the wavy choppy hair. Um, so let me go ahead and do that one now. So again, I'm going to start by figuring out where the hair parts. Looks like it's kind of like right in the middle. And then her bangs like go, they start from way back there and they go almost all the way down to where her eyes, her eyes are, where her eyebrows would be if my character here had eyebrows. 
So we've got some bangs. We've got some volume, of course, so we start up there. And then we've got some like choppy layers happening here. And it looks like maybe they go out this way. There we go. And then, oops, I'll do the neck later. And then her ears again aren't showing just like the other hairstyle. So we're just gonna kind of connect, you know, we'll kind of clean that up as we define it. Okay, so there's kind of the basic shape. And then I'm just gonna add some like choppy pieces. Maybe one over there. And then, and then I'll go ahead and define the bangs a little bit because kind of vary, like I'll, I'll draw these like curved pointy shapes and kind of vary how big they are. If you make them all look exactly the same, it's kind of looking a little stale or, you know, like a little flat. So there we go. And then maybe it kind of, I can make it do that, go off over on the side. And then I'll do a few lines. And, and this is great when you just wanna practice like getting better at drawing hair is to do a whole bunch of like these little uh, sketches. So you can take a hair photo and kind of see what it would look like as a stylized draw, you know, illustrated version. Okay, do her little face and give her a neck. Cool, all right, we've got two hairstyles. Um, so what I was gonna say, if you're not finding a lot of results here, uh, in Google, another really great search engine to use is actually Pinterest. I use Pinterest as a search engine a lot. So I'm gonna pull Pinterest up instead. Uh, I'm gonna go to the little search and I'm going to search for, you can see I was looking up some stuff yesterday. Uh, let's just look up wavy hair and see what comes up. Got a lot of like hair down kind of pictures and I kind of wanna see one with hair up so Wavy hair, um, maybe like half up. Yeah, kind of, a, I like, I wanna do a hairdo that's like got like a big bun on the head, kind of like that. Let me see. If you see something you kind of like, but it's not perfect, you can tap on it and then scroll down and there might be something like similar to that. Yeah, I think kind of like this, but maybe I can make it shorter. She's got like a little bun on her head. So let me draw, let me draw that one next. Um, so let's again, start with the basic shapes. And this one's a little bit different because it's not all down. So of course I'll start with her part. And then her hair, you kind of want to look, it's a little hard to see because her hair is dark, but you got to look where the direction that the hair is going. And it looks like the hairs are kind of making this curve around. They're going down and around. So I'm going to try and do something like that. Um, might not come out, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna start, and this is, again, that volume. She's got her hair kind of parted and pulled to the side. And then her hair, this looks weird so far, but bear with me. Uh, and then her hair kind of comes down, and I'm gonna make it shorter, because my girl has short hair. Okay, <laughs> and then we're gonna add like a bun kind of thing on top. Okay, and now that, you know, I've got those basic shapes, I can add more to it to make it look less weird. So remember the hair that kind of curves around like that? And then let's do it here as well, because it's gotta, remember, it's all coming to connect to that bun, all this hair. This kind of reminds me of like, I don't know. <laughs> um, let's see, let's have her hair kind of make it go this way at the bottom. I love that someone was just saying that uh, messy buns is all about what quarantine hair is about. <laughs> For sure. I'm all about that messy bun. <laughs> Um, so we've, I've added some waves and then of course the bun is going to kind of do something like this and maybe has like some stuff sticking out, some stuff sticking out the side like that. Um, 
I think that this part maybe should go a little lower. So I'm gonna try something like that. So again, it's just a sketch. Draw her little face in. Okay, cool, so we've got like a funky little bun. Um, let's go over here and do something different. Maybe we'll just look up short hairstyles. Short hairstyles. Short hairstyles. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got here. There's another messy bun thing, half up bun, kind of like that. Um, <laughs> let's do this one because I feel like that one, if you look at it, might be a little challenging. So we'll kind of walk you through doing that one. Um, so we've got an ear showing, we've got the hair down in front of her face, wavy in the back, short. Uh, so again, we're gonna find the part, which is kind of off to the side. So probably like right there. And then this is kind of like the defining feature is this big like swoop. So we wanna draw that, I'm gonna draw that right now. I'm gonna start with this swoop, swoop right there. So it's gonna come up and then maybe it needs to go over a little further. So it's like over to the side of her head and then like that. And then we've got another one that kind of connects to it a little bit. There we go. So that's like that first little swoop. And then um, let me go find out where the top of the hair shape is gonna be. It's just gonna be like that, something like that. And then kind of the layers start chopping up right there. But let me just draw the shape for now. I could even, when you're drawing a character, it's even better to like really exaggerate this. So maybe I'll do that. Like, let me start over and I can really try to exaggerate that big <laughs> swoop, <laughs> make it really big and kind of make it come up here. And then I'm just gonna draw this shape and then I'll come back and add the little choppiness, like all the layers. Uh, and yes, there is hair behind, like I, in all these I'm drawing kind of like the front hairs, um, but drawing the hair in the back is, is really easy. So I usually will do that when I do my finished piece. So I'm kind of focusing on the way it looks in the front. And then let's see, the hair comes way up here. Maybe about there. And then it's behind her ear, so there we go. Something kind of like that. It's just like the basic shape, okay? And now I'm gonna start adding in more details. So we've got like kind of some choppiness there, kind of at the bottom as well. And then on this side, it kind of goes this way. Maybe I'll do those a little more random size, something like that. We've got, I'm gonna make it maybe a little more wavy. Kind of some hairs, maybe that do that. And then you can have like hairs that kind of are stray, which I'll, I usually do like stray hairs when I um, finish the artwork. I'll show you that in a little bit. Oops. So then we've got to add in like where the actual hairline is. So we've got a hair that kind of comes over here. And of course we need to draw her ear because her hair goes behind the ear. There we go, kind of does that. Let me add in some little waves. There, that's kind of a, I like it. It's just really cool. <laughs> Okay, I wanna look up some more. I'm, a lot of the pictures I'm finding are of women and my character is a little girl. So I'm gonna look up some pictures of little girl hairs or little, yeah, like, let me see. Everyone keeps asking for braids. I mean, I know oh, I'm, uh, okay. I'm pushing Let's do, Lisa, but definitely had, had some. Uh, yeah, let me do, let me look up a picture, like maybe girl with two braids or something. Or let's just look up two braids. Okay, but two braids, let me look up short hair, because she has short hair. <laughs> They're all from the back, that's not very helpful. All right, well, maybe I'll just like go rogue and make it up here on my own. 
Maybe I'll give her some bangs. So let me look up a picture of bangs. Or fringe if you're in the UK. We'll start with uh we'll start with this picture and then I'll just add braids to it. Okay, here we go. So again, you can't really see her part, but we can see where her hair parts where the, the bangs are, which is gonna be not at the hairline. Uh, it's actually gonna be a little higher here. Maybe somewhere in the middle, right there. Um, so we're gonna draw, these are big, wide bangs. And then I'm just gonna draw the shape. So we'll just do something like that for now. And then we'll add in all the little like pieces later. Um, because we're doing braids, actually, there would be a part, which would be right in the middle, or depending, you know, sometimes I braid my hair and part it from the side. Maybe I'll do that. That's how I like to do it, so. <laughs> uh, okay, so then we wanna add that volume. Um, I think it just looks better with volume, even when you're doing braids, even though like braids can be sometimes like really tight on your head. Um, let's do that way. And then I'm gonna add her ears, because the braids are gonna go behind her ears. So let's do that. Give her some nice volume. It's okay to like exaggerate the volume. You can always like bring it back down if it looks like too big. Um, but better, better to be a little big and exaggerated than like too flat. Okay, and then maybe we'll add some like little pieces of hair that kind of come down like that. I don't know. Okay, so let's do the braids now. I just wanna get a picture of braids. I'll show you kind of my like quickie, um, my quickie way of drawing a braid. Let me do a thick braid. All right, this is good enough. So we can see what it looks like. So when I'm doing like just a really quick kind of a braid, I'll usually just do um, like scallops, but they're like alternating sides. So I do a couple scallops and then, um, so where this is pointy, this is curved like that. And then they kind of come together there. And then we have like the ends. So that's like the shape that I usually do for braids. So I'll do one over here as well. And I'm actually gonna make it, maybe I'll make the hair connect a little more than like being really like tucked behind her ear since she has probably thick hair cause it's wavy. Okay, so. That one's a little bit bigger than the other one. Kind of want to get them to be similar in size. Okay, so that's like the basic shape that I do when I do braids. And if you're really like just being, you know, quick and easy with it, I just usually kind of make like these little um, overlapping, you know, lines like that. That's kind of like the quick and easy way to do it. So I usually connect the point to the point and then go that way. I like that. It doesn't look super real. So let's, let me try a different way that maybe might look a little more realistic. Um, and, and when you're doing braids and I've, I've tried, like I did a picture of Elsa for my daughter a little earlier this year. And it's just good to, to really look at and see like where things connect and what overlaps what and things like that. Um, so there's usually like a piece here and then it tucks into a piece here that tucks into a piece. This is not gonna be very good, you guys. It usually takes a lot of brain power for me to draw like really realistic braids. <laughs> I will be honest, because I really have to look and see like what tucks into what. Um, so let me see, let me try that. I don't think this looks very good. All right, well, you know what? Maybe I like it like that, a little stylized, kind of, sure. <laughs> so I'm not the best at drawing braids, you guys, but it's kind of interesting. It, it has some interesting shapes going on there. Uh, let's just draw the rest in the hairstyle. <laughs> and then maybe give her some like little pieces like that for the bangs. Okay, there we go. It depends on how stylized you wanna go and how realistic you wanna go with, with your braids. I kinda of actually like the way this is looking for a stylized look. Okay, so we got some braids. <laughs> Everyone keeps asking for a boy's haircut. So we're gonna do a short Actually, haircut. I was, I did wanna do like a really short 
short hairstyle. So, um, let me see if we can find, I saw this one earlier, which I really like. It kind of cuts off the top of her head, but I think we can work with that. Um, okay, so we've got an ear on this side, no ear on that side. So I'm just gonna go ahead and draw the ear. Boom, there it is. And then I'm gonna start with the shape, something like this, which is, you know, maybe not the easiest to just out and draw. You wanna start with the shape. So we've got her, you know, her hairline and there's some hair that comes down a little bit. The part is kind of right there, the really deep part. And then we've got some hair that kind of comes down like that. And then the hair back here has a lot of volume. We'll start, we'll start with something like that. And then this one's hard to see because her hair is like really dark. But we, I think her, I think I'm gonna move the part actually. It's a process. You might not get it right at first. Don't, don't worry about it. If there's a hairstyle that really stumps you, draw it a bunch of times. Really like look at a different bunch of different kinds of photos of that style of like really short hair. Um, let me see. Let me just, I'm just gonna draw like a shape that I think it is. This kind of does that. Okay, so it's, yeah, it's, this is probably not <laughs> very accurate, but doing my best here. Okay, so there's kind of like the shape that I think the hair is. And now I'm just gonna add a lot of pieces, like little um, things like that. And the more that your pieces start closer to the part or closer to the hairline, the shorter the hair is gonna look. If it's, if it's all straight here, then there's not gonna be, it's gonna look like it's like long until it gets to the end. So we'll see, I think, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if this one's that good. It's kind of interesting. And then we can even add some little pieces there. Now it's looking really like, the more I make little pieces like that, it starts to look like really edgy and stuff. So, and I kind of want this big swoopy, swoopy thing to happen. Maybe I'll even make that more pronounced. So you gotta experiment. Actually her hair is uh, like short like this. And a little longer right there. That's kind of cool. It's like kind of a like edgy hairstyle. It's not exactly like that, but I think it's really fun. So let me draw her neck. There we go. Okay, that's kind of fun. I like it. So you can see those like little pieces and it's kind of, you can see how it's shorter. Um, and then this texture on the side is really gonna make it look like that's like buzzed and not like long pieces of hair. So if I could turn off my little template, I've got a page of hairstyles. And I think I'm gonna do a couple more. Um, so when I wouldn't, I mean, don't even stop at six, like keep going with it. Um, I kind of want to look at some more like younger kind of hairstyles since she, my girl is like only like eight or eight or 10 or something. Um, so I'm going to turn off that layer. I'm going to turn back on just the template. That's why it's good to have this on a separate layer because now I can just create a new layer and draw on it again. I don't have to draw them all over again. Let's see. Like when you search for a little girl hair, you get all these like really crazy, <laughs> um, like crazy hairdos, which I don't really want to do like a crazy hairdo. So I'm going to look up little girl haircuts because that's kind of like the basic, here we go. Like this is a little more simple. Um, this little, that's cute. I kind of like this one. I'm going to do something like that. So her hair part is here kind of comes down on her face and then scoops around that way. I'm gonna make it go. So I'm gonna make her part a little more closer to center, like right there. 
So we've got kind of down, swoop it around. We've got some like bangs happening here. And then we've got height up here. And then the ends are kind of angled this way. So let me just kind of draw that as like a guide. There we go, something like that. And then kind of come in that way. Let me try this again. Like overall her hair has kind of has this like, I don't know, hard to describe. <laughs> um, what I do want to do, I do like how some of the pieces go out that way, so. Okay, I'll go around. And then this is kind of where the pieces happen here. I remember when I was little, I had hair that they both like go the same direction, you know, like instead of, you know, like nicely like going in like that, they kind of like both go like that way. So that's kind of fun actually. I'm gonna make her hair a little taller. Uh, I don't know. If you're not feeling it, you can also just like draw it and then move on. And I'm kind of not feeling that one. <laughs> That's fine. Let me see. We'll do a couple more. If anybody has any other suggestions, I am happy to hear you out. <laughs> Let me look up wavy. I'm gonna do a really easy hairstyle like this. Even though her hair is not really wavy, but I'm gonna do it anyways, just for variety. She's wearing a hat, so I'm just gonna imagine that her hair, you know, kind of does this, kind of curls, goes down, kind of curls up on her face a little bit. Just kind of like a cute look, really simple. And then we've got the hairs coming down. We can add the little pieces like that on the bangs. Okay, cool. All right, maybe I wanna try, since I did a straight one, I wanna do like one that's like really, really curvy. A uh, really, really curly hair. So, and like, I love little curly buns. So let me look up like curly buns. <laughs> That's a weird search term. Hair. I wanna do two curly buns. There we go. This one's a little hard to see. She's got really curly hair. So um, let me do that one. So her hair's gonna be parted in the middle and no bangs. They're, all the hair is gonna be pulled to where the buns are. So let me actually define where the buns are gonna be, which is right there. And this is, we can do these in a couple different ways. Well, let me just define the shape. Like that like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> and then we want the hair to be pulled from wherever it is to that point. And we can, and you don't wanna just do it straight because that means the hair is pulled really, really tight, which you could do, the hair might be pulled really, really tight. Um, but I wanna give it a little more like volume. So I'm gonna make these lines kind of curve a little bit like that. And let me get her ears too. Like that, and there we go, like that. Just imagine wherever the hair is coming out of her head and then connect it to there where it's getting pulled in. And then maybe I'll add some little like curly tendrils or something. 
make it loose. Um, and then for this, a lot of the definition that I'm going to add, like I want the outside of it to have kind of like a big bumpy texture because of all the curls. And then a lot of the texture that I would add, I'd probably do at the end, um, just like adding in, you can do curls like that, like just to add a little bit of texture. Um, I would probably also add it in with shading and things like that if I were finishing it off. I don't know, you can kind of play around and see what works like that. But I think that's kind of cute. Kind of looks weird with the, <laughs> the like, the little outline I made, but you can imagine. There we go. That's pretty cute. Let's draw her face or her head. I love that we've had a, a bunch of people asking for Ariana Grande hair lately. Oh, <laughs> is that, that like the big, ponytail, tight that ponytail? That tight, straight hair. Oh, gosh, it's... I feel like I wouldn't even need to, like, it's on top of her head. She always has, like, a big hair thing, and then it's just, like, it probably wouldn't be that hard, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just, yeah, it's really tight, so it would really be close to the hair, uh, close to the head. And then uh, let's look it up. I love it. You guys are hilarious and amazing, you guys, for this. <laughs> yeah, this wouldn't work for my character, but uh, I'll see, I was pretty close, yeah. Um, and here is where the hairline would matter, because these straight lines, like, hair doesn't, that's not how really hair goes. It, it kind of, in each person is different, but, you know, it usually does something like that. There's more to it than just, like, a curved line, so it just depends on how much you want to uh, stylize it. But I would do something like this for her hair. That would be like the shape. And then of course her ears. Draw her neck. Um, and then it kind of like fountains out like that. And then we have all the hair kind of coming down. And of course it would be really, really long. So I'm not even gonna draw the bottom of it. Or maybe we'll just do it as like a short, if she had short hair, kind of like that. <laughs> Let's try that again. And then we can add some waves and stuff like that. It's kind of cute. Oh, and I forgot we need to add her hair connecting in. There we go. There you go. <laughs> Close enough, except it's just like not as long. Um, the hair I wanna do, let me see. I kinda wanna do one with bangs and like half up. Can't even type. Nope. <laughs> bangs, half up bun. I had a picture I saw yesterday that I really want to do. Of course, I should have just saved it because I can't find it now. Okay, I'm just going to grab it because that's the one that I want to do for my character and I can't find the picture now. So I'll show you ones that I did um, last night as I was preparing for this video. Oh, don't look. Don't look. This is what it's going to be. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so these are some hairstyles that I drew last night as I was preparing for this video. So we've got some with like hair up, kind of out. We've got a little like headband. And these are all based, see this is the one I did with short hair and that one actually looks good. <laughs> um, these were all based on photos that I found online. So that was one sheet that I did of hair. And let me do another one. There's another one, we did ponytails. I did like a little scarf with wavy hair. Um, this one I really like with the big swoop. And I think it's this one that I actually want to do when I finish it. So I'm going to show you how I do that one. I'm going to make sure I am on that layer. And what I'm actually going to do is I am going to just select that. And then I'm going to swipe down with three fingers. I'm going to copy it. Nope, it's not copy and paste. Well, it's copied now, so it doesn't matter. But you just have to hit copy <laughs> instead of copy and paste. 
So I'll select that, swipe down with three fingers, and hit copy. I think I did one more. There's another sheet. There's some other funky braids, wavy hair. <laughs> I like this one that's all like choppy choppy. All right, I'm gonna go back to the page that I was working on. And we'll color that. Okay, and then I'm gonna swipe down with three fingers and I'm gonna choose paste. And there it is, there's the one that I am gonna finish out. Um, so I'm gonna turn off these other sketches. So whenever you find, like once you work on like all your hair and you're like, oh, I really like, um, I really like this one. You would select it, copy and paste it, just like I did onto a new layer. So it's like that. And then, oops, make sure I'm on the right layer. There we go. And then we're gonna scale it up so that we can actually work on it. So the first thing I'm gonna do from this sketch is refine it. So I'm going to turn down the opacity and I am going to create a new layer a little darker pencil. And then I'm just gonna kind of refine, you know, what I want this to look like a little bit. And this hair, this hair that I'm gonna do is might be a little more detailed than I would want for my final character, but I think it's good to practice. I can always like make it less detailed um, and that's no problem at all. So let me draw her little face in. And let's see, we've got her bangs. And it doesn't, it's still just a sketch. It doesn't have to be perfect. And we'll draw in a few of these lines just as a guide because these lines will be important. Kind of goes down. And these lines kind of just to denote like where the hair is going. So, and here's another one where I said we don't, I don't want it like super straight pulled back. It'll be really flat, but if I make the uh, lines curve up a little bit, curve a little bit and then go back, it'll show that it has a little more volume. There, I think that's pretty good. And everything's going back to the hair tie. There we go. And then we've got like the hair kind of waving out in the back. Some pieces, piece it out. There, okay, that's pretty good. Of course, we'll add a few wavy lines. Maybe add some extra little bits on the side to show maybe some layers. Just all depends on how much, how many layers you wanna show or whether it's like really long and just straight at the bottom. Just add some wavy lines. And then our little bun. And then I like how these hairs kind of pop out the side. It's kind of like the messy bun. Okay, so that's pretty good for the sketch. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn off that first sketch and this is what I'm gonna to use to work off as I color. Okay, now we're moving on to the coloring. <laughs> um, so yeah, like I said, once you have your, your, your style you wanna do, refine the sketch. And then once you do that, we're gonna reduce the opacity of that sketch, create a new layer. And this layer is gonna go below the sketch. I always keep my sketches on top and I always set the blend mode of my sketch, which are these options here to multiply, and that makes it more easy to see. Okay, so I'm going to this layer right below that. And her hair is gonna be pink, so I am gonna choose a pink color, maybe something like that, like a light pink. And I'm gonna be using brushes from my gouache paint box. It's probably what I'm gonna be using for this whole week as I kind of build on this character. Um, the brush I'm using is Opaque Round. A little sip of tea. And now the first thing that I'm gonna do is I am gonna outline and color in this whole hair shape all as one kind of unit. So let me go ahead and do that. And this might take a minute. So if there are any questions kind of pertaining to what I've been doing, I'm happy to take a couple questions. Yeah, I'm just basically kind of outlining it. 
I'm actually just gonna like trace around the ear for now. My hand's a little shaky. You can see how my lines are a little shaky. It's always a little awkward. There's like a phone right in my face when I'm drawing <laughs> on the on camera. That's all right. Okay, so I'm just outlining this and I'm just making sure that all my lines are connected so I can use color drop to fill in the whole thing. Go out that way. Let me curve that around a little more. There we go. Do the bun. Does anybody have any questions while I'm <laughs> coloring this in? You guys are quiet. Or maybe Jeff's busy. <laughs> Um, someone was just asking about how to choose a more natural hair color. This oh, is fun. Yeah. I mean, you know, just choosing color. Sure. Well, um, you know, a lot of it is experimenting. Um, I do have a video in my people skills series all about hair. Uh, and in that video I do, I also do it like a guy's hairstyle and do more natural colors and things like that. But like if I was going to pick a brown, you know, I would start, you know, you know, it just kind of depends on what you want it to look like, really. So this is kind of like a dark brown. And of course, you're going to be adding like color, like uh, shadows and highlights to it to make it more dynamic. Um, but yeah, just I would just kind of like play around and see what looks right to you, honestly. But check out that video. I do do some more like natural hair colors. All right, trace around the ear. And there we go. Okay, cool, I've got a closed in shape, so I should be able to go ahead and use, no I don't, I missed a spot somewhere. Ah, there it is. See that you guys? If color drop doesn't work, <laughs> a little bit, it like splued out, just like got it went out the side, so. Yeah, there we go, now it should work. Ta-da. Okay, there we go, so now we've got it all colored in. I can come back and also add in Actually, I'm going to add in these little stray hairs um, later, and I'm probably going to add in more stray hairs. Actually, I'll do it now, but I'm going to use a different brush. I'm going to use one of my liner brushes now. And the stray hairs are a really fun way to add extra texture um, to your hair. So I'll show you how I do that. Basically, you just kind of just add some hairs that kind of come out and back and kind of do that. Let me see, let me do that one again. Kind of do that, you know, they're just like little hairs that kind of just popping out, doing their own thing. You can even make it come back and connect again. Um, maybe one's happening here. Let me do that again, like that. And then of course we've got these little kind of stray hairs that are sticking out of her bun. Let me make one a little bit longer. You can even make it uh, connect and come back, kind of like that. And then I want a few like kind of popping out like that. I mean, I don't like that really long one. Just gonna add like more interesting texture. Let me add a couple to her bangs. Okay. Maybe, I don't know if I want some that kinda do that. Sure. Okay, so now you can see it's like a little bit more, it's a little bit more interesting. You can see some individual hairs. It just gives it a little bit more extra something, a little extra detail. Um, so now that I've done that, I've kind of got my shape figured out. I'm going to go ahead and add in some details. So I'm going to create a new layer for this. Just hit the plus sign. I'm going to choose a color that's darker and like more saturated than the color I've been using. Same if you're doing like more natural hair color. Um, 
I add in these like these defining lines that I've kind of put in my sketch with a darker color. And you usually want to go darker, a little more saturated with your colors. Let me see how this one looks. Um, maybe I want to use Gritty Tilt Liner. I really like that brush. It has has some nice texture to it, and I think this color is going to work. So, okay, so I'm basically using these lines to kind of define the main like areas of hair. So the bangs. I'm gonna make my sketch a little lighter. There we go. And then kind of some of these lines. And when I'm adding in lines like this, um, I don't want them to be all perfectly evenly spaced. I kind of vary how far apart their space. That makes it more interesting to me. Maybe we'll have some come from there. Kind of like that. You know, it doesn't, doesn't take too much. And of course, we definitely need something here to define this area that's being pulled in and then a few lines for the hairs that are tied back. You can see how I'm like varying the width in between where I'm doing the lines. Do that again over here. A couple more. Maybe one right there too. Cool, so now I've got her hair pulled back and then we're just gonna add a few lines down here. These lines can also add a little bit of shading like where it pops out behind her head yeah, or behind her ear. <laughs> what are the two brushes that you've been using again? Uh, so this, the, the light pink was opaque round and actually three brushes. Uh, the extra stray hairs, I used detail liner and now I'm using gritty tilt liner, which just has a little bit more texture. I like the texture. Um, I like how it has texture for these lines. So that's why I chose that brush. All right, so we've got some lines happening. And these, so the lines that you um, add on top, these detail lines, these help define the texture of hair. So there's a few things that help define the texture of the hair. First of all is the outer shape. So, you know, if I took away this, it's all just flat one color. So it's really these outer shapes, you know, that help define um, the texture of the hair. If it was curly hair, they would be like little bumpy. If it was straight, it would just be like very, very straight. Um, so the more kind of texture you add to the edges, the more textured your hair is going to look. Then you add more texture with these lines and these lines show us that the hair is kind of wavy in the middle of the hair, not just on the edges. So that's what those are for. And then let me do that for the little bun. Cool. And then of course she does need a, like a, a hair tie or something. So. Let me try orange for the hair tie. I'm gonna use the detail liner because it's smoother. She has like an orange hair tie. There we go. Okay, so I've got a hair tie. Um, now for my character, this is probably, let me turn off my sketch. This is probably like what the level of detail that I would do um, because it kind of matches the way that I did my uh, my clothing, it's like flat color with line work on top, but I'm gonna keep going and show you how I can add more definition with shadows and highlights using one of my favorite brushes from this set. Um, so this brush that I'm gonna be using next is called Bristle Painter, and it's great for doing like hair and fur. It's kind of magical, I really, really like it. So I'm selecting the pink that I used for the base color. Uh, I'm going to go to that layer and create a new layer right above it. And then I'm actually set this layer to be a clipping mask. And that will make it so anything in this layer that I draw won't go pat, won't go outside of the shape of the hair. So it'll only be on like the, the hair layer that I drew. It won't go beyond that. Um, it's, it's basically like masking that out. 
Okay, so let's start with some darker colors. So I'm just gonna choose a little bit darker pink than what I've been using. Again, I'm using the Bristle Painter Brush. And now, when you wanna think about where the hair might be darker, uh, having reference photos can be really helpful for this, um, like seeing where the light hits the hair. But generally, this is kinda of how, if I'm just making up hair, uh, this is how I decide where to put like shadows and highlights and things like that. Um, where hair overlaps each other, there's gonna be some darkness there. Um, so let me, actually, let me just add a little bit. I'm actually just gonna do it this way. Well, this one's a little different because this part of the hair sticks up, so they're actually like faces up where the light might be hitting, so that one actually might be lighter. So down here though, behind the ears, there's gonna be a little darkness. Down here, underneath the hair, there would be a little bit. And then of course, where it comes out of like the hair bun, just add a little bit there. That's, and this brush is cool, cause here I'll show you, it's got like lots of little uh, marks up all at once. So it's really great for doing hair and fur and stuff like that. I'm gonna do that again. You're kind of following these same lines that you already drew. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna go over to the highlights. I think I usually do the highlights first, actually. That's why I'm feeling a little, let me get a lighter pink. Okay, so um, now I'm gonna add some highlights and where you want the highlights to go, is where the sun or the light would be hitting the hair. And it's usually hair that like is pointing up. If you can imagine the lights usually coming from above. Um, so kind of following this little curve, there's like a cur curl there, usually like kind of on top of the bangs. Um, maybe here where it kind of bulges out a little bit. It kind of just depends, of course, if there is like a light source you're working with on the outside of the bun. Let's do this curl. Because I'm using the clipping mask, I don't have to worry about, you know, going off where the hair actually is. And then maybe here. So you can already start to see like there's some extra dimension kind of happening. And I can go even the lighter that you go with your highlights, the more shiny your hair is gonna look. So you can see that looks like a little bit more shiny. There we go. Cool, and now I'm gonna go in and get like the darker color and do some little shading there behind the ear. And right here where it kind of curls inward. Back here. Kind of where it comes out of the part is usually a little bit darker. the side so you can start to see how like adding these little sh shadows and highlights really start to make it have a lot of dimension and kind of starts to go more towards realistic um, one thing that I realized I forgot to do was do the back of her hair I know I said I was gonna do that so let me turn my little sketch back on um, Pretend I made a neck, <laughs> I didn't actually make a neck. I'm gonna make a layer behind. So normally I have like a layer for the face, like the actual face, and then behind that and behind the neck, I have a layer for the hair, which I'll show you all of that on Friday when we do putting it all together. So I'm gonna get a little bit darker, like a, kind of a pretty dark version of the color that I use for the hair. I'll just use a detail liner. And then really simple, I probably will just, do something like that, and that's gonna be covered by the neck, so it doesn't even really matter. So something like that, that's fine. And then here's what I'll do, I'll fill it in. 
make sure I have a closed shape here. I think that's good. Okay, <laughs> that looks totally weird, but bear with me. Um, now I'm just gonna erase. Like I said, normally I would have a layer of face blocking that. Oops, okay, so let's just erase away where the head is. And then we'll just give her a neck. There we go. Okay, so now she actually has something behind her head too. So that way the hair goes all the way around. This is especially like when we have any characters that have long hair that goes beyond you know, their head, um, you wanna have some hair behind their head as well. And then I'm gonna add some, just a little bit of detail to this. I'll do a clipping mask right above that layer. I'm gonna get a darker, even darker pink. And we'll just use the bristle painter for that and just kind of add in a little bit. It's going to be a lot darker here, but right behind her head. But yeah, it just adds like a little bit of detail. I think it just needs a teensy bit, a little bit. That, there we go. Okay, let me turn off my sketches. Um, where's the other one? There we go. And I think this is looking pretty good. The only thing I might do is maybe just add a little bit more line work here just to define these really important parts where the, the hair like changes. But yeah, other than that, I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna add a little bit of shading to my little hair band. It looks kind of flat. So I'm just gonna get like a darker, more saturated orange. Um, I'll just use my light brush strokes real quick and kind of shade the edges of that. There we go, just a little bit. And there you have it, hair all done. And like I said, I think for my character, I probably, it'll probably be like this, um, but that's how you can use like a brush to add even more texture to your hair. Cool, so let me go back over here. Um, I would love to see whatever you guys are working on right now. Um, so if you're posting to social media, go ahead and um, tag me. You can use the hashtag Bardo Brush. You can tag Bardo Brush. I'm also Lisa Bardo on uh, Instagram. Um, also check out our Facebook group for making our every day. <laughs> um, you can find it on Facebook. I think Jeff will throw up a link. Um, but that's also another really great place to share your artwork and connect with others. And if you're not following along with making art every day, I highly recommend um, doing that. I can take a couple questions if we have them. Uh, we got an important one. Yeah. Um, what flavor is your tea? Oh. This tea is uh, passion fruit with flowers. I get it from a local place here and it's super good. <laughs> uh, and then someone was asking about um, how, if you're doing line art, how do you draw the uh, like little hair scrag, you know, straggy. Like the stray hairs? The stray hairs, yeah. Um, so if you're just going to do line art, you could, def and, and I think what there, this person is asking is like, if there's an outline of the hair, I would probably use your line work to define those. So I honestly don't usually do outlines on my stuff that I draw. Cause I like, I like it this way, but, um, like if you were going to have an outline, so it'd be something like this, maybe. And like that, I would probably use your black line or whatever you're using for your outline, maybe to do it. You can experiment. I don't know. I don't do it too much. So, but I think that could work. Like if you do some extra lines like that, I think that could work. And those will really stand out and show a lot of texture. So this is what this person I think means <laughs> if you're doing like line work, meaning like outlines, because a lot of cartoon characters have that. Any more questions? Um, let's see, do we have any other good ones? Uh, 
So I was asking, how do you make curly hair look good? I'm struggling to find the right balance between too many lines and too little mm. for curly. Um, I would check out the uh, people skills video that I have on hair. Um, it does show you, let me actually, you can find people skills. Let me go to my website. It's on the tutorials page. I'm sure Jeff's going to throw a link up. Um, but if you go to tutorials, it's right here, people skills. And we have a whole lesson on hair. And this, this is good because you guys can see um, the lessons. And I have a video about how to do hair as well. So you can kind of see in this little, whoops, what did I do? This little preview. Uh, it's all about, oh geez. <laughs> it's all about adding like shading and highlights and then also the little stray hairs. I hope you can kind of see that on this picture. But like the shadows, the shape of the shadows are curls, little curly curlies. And then the highlights are also curly curlies. The shape of the hair is like um, like a cloud or like a bush, you know, that kind of like scalloped look. Um, and then we've got little curly curly stray hairs. So that's how I do like really tight, tight curls. Um, I did a video uh, on Friday that we did a little little black girl with fireflies and we, she had like two little afro buns and they're super cute and we did something similar to this but I didn't do it as detailed as that but you could check that one out too. Um, here's another one with curly hair. All the shadows and highlights are curls and then there's stray curls as well. So texture, stray hairs, shadows and highlights. That's what it's all about. So um, and then you know straight, they're all straight. So that's kind of like the difference. And then wavy, of course, they're wavy and there's little pieces that stick out. Um, so check that video out. It's a really, really good one. Right. Uh, someone's asking, how do you make an outline color match the drop fill? Mine never matches between the two. Um, they should, unless you choose a different color. So I, I'm not quite sure I can demonstrate that if I don't, I don't know if I understand the question. Um, sorry about that. Yeah. And then people were asking about how to draw a body and, and, yes. uh, and a couple other things. Yes. So, um, so tomorrow we're actually going to be uh, doing the faces tutorial. And then after faces, we're going to be working on body shape. So we're, we're kind of progressing up to it. Like I wanted you to focus on hair without worrying about drawing a face yet because um, that's kind of the, the way that we're going to be doing it. So join us uh, for the body on Thursday, but tomorrow we're going to be working on drawing faces and exploring different like uh, facial feature styles and trying to find out the style that you want to use for your character. So we'll be doing like a bunch of different like eyes, nose, mouth styles. So I really hope you can join us for that one. Um, I think... We're going to go ahead and sign off for now, and um, I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining me today. I cannot wait to see your characters. Definitely tag me. If you're posting, join in the group. I am loving seeing what you guys are coming up with. So until next time, bye-bye.